Here's the first part of how to make a handle on a coffee mug. We need a work plane in the middle of this mug, so I'll go through that. I click on axis, click on the side of the cup, and you'll see that this axis line shows up in the middle. That's where our work plane will go through. I click on work plane. I come over, I've expanded origin. So I come to, we'll do it on the XZ plane. I click that and click on my axis and that will set it there. I check mark and now I have that. When I sketch, I click on the edge of the work plane and it gives me my sketch plane. I'm going to right click, slice graphics, click on this so I'm looking straight at it. So I've got my graphics there. I'm going to uh, we'll do this all in one. I make a, a rectangle here and then I'll actually offset my rectangle to get a handle-ish looking thing, kind of like that. Finish sketch. Now when I extrude, I select this outside part and I want to extrude in both directions so my handle will be centered. I'll make it a quarter of an inch, check mark, and there it is looking kind of crappy and so we will fill it. I'll fill it to 0.125, half the thickness of my handle and then I'm just going to fill it all over the place here, here and here and the other two inside that one and that one and then we're going to do this top outside one here we'll even do this edge out here and then I uh, also so we'll, we'll apply those and then we'll even come back and do that these outside edges which is what will really make it look nice do both of those forgot to do these I'll do it like that and Oops, too many. So let's just do, that was when I did those bottoms, I think. If I just do these, then I'm okay. And I didn't get these, so we'll get these. And then I'm okay. And so, there's a reasonable ham handle. You could do it better, of course. Um, but that shows you the basics of it. I can right click on my work plane and check visibility. And that's the easy way. I'm going to show you uh, stop and come back and I'll show you how to do a sweep. All right, so I'm back looking at it here. Now I'm going to do a sweep. I'm going to do a spline. You can do whatever kind of way you want it. You could do curves and circles and arcs or whatever. I'm going to come out here, come out a little bit, come out here. Come out here, and I'm going to go right there. Double click, and I've got my spline. I've got the path that my sweep will follow. I finish sketch, come over here, and under plane, I select normal to curve at point. I think this will work. And you can see that it's showing up there. I create a sketch on that. And again, right click, slice graphics so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make a circle. Now, the sharper the curve in your spline, the smaller your circle ends up having to be. I'm going to do mine fairly small because I think I got some sharp curves and I would like to try to make it work the first time. Let's see. Finish sketch, sweep. Don't think it worked. See, that was my problem. Okay, back up. And I think it may, oh, that's not a pretty curve there. That's my problem. I fixed it, I think. Let's try it again. I'm going to make my circle. I think it may work this time. Let's try it now. I redid my spline. And there you go. I click OK. And there you have it. Just in time. With a sweep. Thank you.